they switched it kind of like halfway. They told me that I was going to be working out with the tight end, so that's kind of how that worked. You look good at the senior ball at running back, man. I was planning on you coming here and being a running back, and I mean, what's just what are, what are they telling you? I mean, they just told me, uh, you know, leagues. I mean, teams in the league is telling me, you know, that they see me playing running back. Uh, they said I had a, you know, a couple good practices at the senior bowl. You know, I felt comfortable, yeah, I but uh, you know, I'm just blessed to have the opportunity to get here. So, is it that much of a difference? I mean, you're going to be running pass catching and things like that. What won't you get to do? Oh well, I'm also going to be doing a little bit of uh, running back drills okay. as well. So I'm going to do a little bit of extra work after the tight end group. So you know, I'll be able to showcase my catching ability and also you know routes coming out of backfield or whatever they want me to you know do. Outside of your versatility, what do you think is the best thing that you bring to the next level to an NFL team? Uh, I'm, I'm a great competitor. You know, I, I love to win. I hate to lose. So I feel like my competitiveness is is, is going to you know show a lot at the next level. How'd on the other hand, what's what? In college? You say what? How'd you wind up at tight end in college? Uh, I was recruited by the tight end uh, coach, and uh, you know they recruited me as like an H back tight end type guy, and uh, you know my role just kind of expanded throughout the four years I was there. What's Will Richardson like off the field? Oh, he's great, man. He's a great person. Uh, I mean, he, he's he's a goofy person. I mean, we get along uh, well, and uh, I mean he's. He's great on the field, great off the field, and uh, you know he's a great teammate. Does anybody know you hit like over 21 miles an hour at the Senior Bowl? I think you were like the second fastest yeah. top speed there. Skill. Yeah, play. I seen a tweet about that, but I, I didn't feel like I was going that fast. But yeah, that was, that was pretty crazy. <laughs> you feel like running backs to your best position at the next level? Uh, anywhere on the field. I mean, they see me as a running back, so you know I, I'm able. You know I'm. I'll contribute anyway, you know, an offensive coordinator or wherever he wants me to be. So, you know, wherever position, it could be receiver, running back, you know, split out the backfield being a running back. So, you know, wherever. Jalen, no team's really looking at you as a tight end in your understanding. Are any teams looking at you as a tight end at all? Uh, no, not really. Yeah, most teams saying running back, but, you know, I'm just working out with the tight ends. Uh, so, you know, I'll also be able to showcase my running back uh, abilities after the tight end workout as well for teams that want to see me as running back. So. Have teams talk to you about kicking out from running back to the slot or a wide receiver? Yes, like third down type, you know, being able to split out and also show my catching ability, not just, you know, running ability. So, you know, I'm pretty fine with anything. So. What's the interview process been like for you? Uh, I mean, it's going good, you know. Uh, they're kind of long, but you know, can't complain. Just enjoying this process. It's all about it's all about the process, and you know, I'm just glad to have the opportunity. Have you met at all with Patriots? Uh, not yet. Not 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 while I've been down here, but I met with them at the Senior Bowl. What do you remember about playing with Jacoby Brissett at, at, at NC State? And have you talked to him at all ever since he's been in the NFL? Yeah, I've, I've talked to him. You know, since he's been in the NFL. Uh, you know, he, he's a great player, great person off the field as well. And uh, he was just a true leader. You know, he he really cared about winning. So. That, that's why he's at the next level he's at. Because of your versatility, something that might kind of connect you to the Patriots, have you talked to him at all about being on the Patriots? No, I, I haven't. I haven't talked to him about, you know, who, who I'll be playing with, the, you know, whatever. What's Dale Hines like? Oh, man, he's, 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 he's fast, man. He's, he's kind of just like me. You know, he shows a lot of versatility, be able to catch, uh, and run as well. So, I mean, he popped a 4-3 today. So, you know, congrats to him. You talked about your qualities. What are some of the challenges you'll face heading into the NFL? Uh, just the speed of the game. You know, I feel like that's, that's going to be probably everybody's, you know, first face that they'll have, you know, going to the next level. But, you know, once I get used to it, I feel like I'll be just fine. Jalen, last year the Panthers drafted a couple guys that didn't really, kind of like you this year, didn't really fit into a, a position box but could play a lot of different things. Is that a team that you think might be a fit for you? Uh, yes. I mean, I feel like, you know, they can they can use me as well. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm down to play for anybody, you know, who whoever gives me the opportunity. Uh, you know, I'm able to show my versatility skills, my catching skills, running skills. So, you know, whoever just give me the opportunity, I'm going to try to make the best out of it. How much did you kick out at wide receiver going right into State? A lot, a lot. Actually, I got more snaps from the slot. I was in the slot most of the times, and then, you know, third down, red zone, uh, they put me in the backfield just depending on, you know, the game scheme or whoever was playing. So mostly I was playing, you know, receiver. I had over, I have, what, like 77 catches this year, so I was playing mostly slot. Jalen, some scouts have compared you to Eagles tight end Trey Burton. Um, are you familiar with his game at all? And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I watched him a little bit, especially in the Super Bowl. Uh, you know, he's, he kind of, you know, shows that same versatility that I have, but, uh, 
Yeah, it's kind of the same. You mentioned your versatility. What, what are you going to tell teams in terms of what you can bring to their offense? Uh, you know, I'm hard working. Uh, versatility, be able to catch, right. catch out of the backfield. I mean, that's huge. Uh, you know, being able to run the ball as well as a ball carrier. So, you know, I can bring a lot of different things. Special teams as well. Play all four special teams throughout college. So, you know, wherever I can, you know, help contribute. Uh, that's where I best fit. Have you started to meet with teams yet, and how are the how are, the, how are those meetings going? Uh, well, I have four, I have formals tonight. That's when I'll start. You know, getting really get to the gritty uh, with, with teams, and sitting down, getting up on the board, drawing stuff. So that's tonight will be the first night. Do you know if you won with the Eagles by chance? No, nah, not the Eagles. No, no. tonight. Do that? No, sir. At all this week. No, so I, I met with them with informal wise. The Eagles as Eagles well too. Well. So yeah. Thank you. Were you also kind of a short yardage back at NC State as well? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Um, when it was like third and short, they put me in, running back as well. Goal line, too? Yeah, yes, sir. It's pretty rare to be a slot receiver slash goal line back. Do yeah, yeah. Kind of acknowledge that, that, that variety? Yeah, I mean, wherever, you know, whatever they wanted to do, you know, I was able to do anything. So, you know, normally I came, came in the backfield when we was like, you know, from the 10 in or 5 in, you know, if it was third and short, fourth and short. So. Has that always been a trademark for you? Like, what did you play in high school? Yeah, I play. I, I literally played the same thing. You know, I played safety my sophomore year, played receiver my junior year, uh, running back as well, and then Wildcat quarterback. So I was pretty much doing the same thing at NC State. That's one of the main reasons why I went there. Coach Falk, uh, he, he recruited me and basically told me I was going to be doing the same thing. So. What did you play your senior year in high school? Uh, I was playing receiver. Kind of mostly receiver, just running like back. Playmaker. Yeah, just, you know, wherever I fit, you know, I just just try to find and make plays. How you difficult ever, is that mentally to have to play so many different roles and kind of have to be in so many different rooms, I guess? Uh, it's not difficult at all. Uh, football kind of comes easy to me, you know, but it also starts with the preparation throughout the week. You know, I try to watch film a lot, uh, you know, study the game and just try to just be in my playbook and, you know, f uh, focus on the main details. That, that's very important. There are some people who have jobs, and when people ask, what do you do, like, they have a hard time describing their job to, like, their friends or, like, their friends. <laughs> Do you ever have a tough time explaining what Yeah. You? <laughs> I mean, I had a tough time as soon as I got this hoodie because a lot of people were saying, why you got TE, you know? So, I mean, it, it'd be kind of hard sometimes, but, you know, I just try to, you know, go along with it, say I'm an athlete, put it like that, make it easier. So, describe again, are you going to work out in two different groups then or just with the running? First with the tight ends, and then they said it was going to have me doing extra work afterwards. So, I don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing. But, you know, while I was training, I was working on both just in case for this this moment right here. So, I'll be ready for it. I think you're on a different side of the ball um, from Bradley. He's always seen just from watching some of the stuff he does with the end. He's a pretty fun guy. Um, is that the view from inside that locker room as well? What can you just tell me about when he gets Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he's he's a great person, man. He, he's always, you know, I, I trained with him out in San Diego. I've uh, been around him for four years now. Uh, you know, our relationship has gotten closer. I mean, he's a heck of a football player on the field and off the field. I mean, he does all the extra stuff, take care of the body, watch extra film. So, I mean, he's, I mean, he's, he's the best. What players in the NFL would you model yourself at, or would you? Uh, I say Tom to? Montgomery uh, from the Green Bay Packers. Uh, how they, you know, switched him from true receiver to running back. It's kind of how I'm gonna be probably, you know, playing a receiver a lot in college and then moving back into the backfield. So, Tom Montgomery. What were uh, what was sort of the highlight of your NC State career? I like I say breaking the, uh, the receptions record in my senior year, uh, the bowl game. I feel like that was a huge accomplishment. You know, coming into NC State as a freshman, you know, I never would have thought you know I'd be the lead receiver at NC State. So I feel like that was truly a some pretty impressive names on their receptions list. Oh yeah, too, right? Tory Holt, Jericho Cotri. So you know, to pass those guys on that list, I mean, that's a, that's a dream come true. Tough to pick a number. You don't know which position group to go with in the NFL. Or? Nah, I mean it's not tough. You know, I, I see myself as a running back at the next level. Uh, that's where a lot of teams see me as. So, you know, I, I I do whatever it takes. What do you think the future might hold for your college quarterback, Brian? Oh man, he, he has a great future ahead of him. I mean, he had a great year last year. He, he could have had a chance to come out this year, but decided to come, go back. And, uh, you know, it was a great decision for him and his family. But uh, I see great things coming for him, and uh, I wish the best for him. How do you think he would describe you? Uh, he said that I'm a hard worker. Uh, I'm a competitor on the field, uh, and uh, you know he can always find me on the field wherever, and I'm very dependable. So.
few years ago, there were something like eight or nine Tar Heels here. It seems now there's a bunch of state guys. Do you feel like that kind of balance is kind of shifting in the state? Yeah, I mean, we had a pretty good year this year. Great class, great class of seniors this year coming out this year. Uh, you know, we kind of changed that culture around, you know, the Pac-14. Uh, we, we just tried to keep the standard the standard. And, uh, you know, we had a lot of great guys come out this year, a lot of great guys here at this combine, and a lot of great guys that's also not here at the combine that should be. But, you know, that's not my decision.